it. I mean, I guess you could do like some crazy roachling all in or something, but that's so risky. My thing is, is a lot of the times people overassume certain situations. Like, oh, the Terran is so ahead. Well, not necessarily. No, no, I'm not saying that the Terran is going to be ahead every time he does two racks. I'm just saying that there's no way to. uh to make it so like if he does two racks he's gonna lose because I'm gonna counter it. I think that the best, I guess if you want to call it a counter to two racks is a 15 hatch 14 pull because it gets you a bigger, a, a slightly lead in the economy against him in the early game assuming you don't have to make too many links. I think that, I think that's the best I mean, best if you open up with like a lot of aggression and then you just double expand after it, I well, mean, what? you would pull ahead, right? Can't you guys do that? If we open up with a lot of aggression, it hurts our early drone count. One of the things, an interesting dichotomy that faces Zerg is that we always have to choose between making drones or offensive units. Terran and Protoss can make both always. If we open up with early aggression, our early right. economy is going to be really bad. So we well, can't just double expand. We won't have the money like, for it. Like, what, okay, like I, was, like, I don't understand why you guys can't double expand and with the queens and stuff like that. And because we just, just don't have the money for it, man. You saw Idra last game when he defended with those drones and started making links. He had like 11, or it was like 12 harvesters or whatever. But it's on a one map. And it's one versus one. It's a two-player map. How do you know? You know he's gonna two racks. You know he's gonna do some shit like that. Yeah, but yeah, I know. So that's why you gotta have 15, 14. Hatch first and then pull. I mean, that's the best you counter to do it, I think. speed lane. Look, okay, like for instance, on the Shakiris, if you open speed lane, you know how long it takes for the, pro the Terran to get to your fucking base, especially if you have speed links out, he'll be scared to move out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, after you get the speed links, but then but if you've made, a, if you've made enough like... speed links to make him scared to move out, then that means you've put yourself behind economically if he fast expands. No, it doesn't, because if you have 12 Zerglings, by the time he gets across the map of Shakiris, you can build how many drones and get with how many stuff? Because if you're two raxing, that means you're not gonna be going banshee or any kind of technical build. I mean, which we can, means you can go ahead. And, we can, what we what can, about Starcraft? Uh, Starcraft one, when you guys were taking your third hatch sometimes before you even fucking, you know what I'm saying? That was different. What if that was different. Open the speedlings and then just fucking double expand. You don't double exp you don't but in Brood War the expansions were all based around getting six to eight mutas to control the Terran. Once you had those muta, the Terran couldn't move out of his base unless he had a lot of curse set up. In certain situations you could I would see some Zerg go ahead and say fuck it and get three hatches right away. Because you're ruling that out. Those Why were not? really, really rare games. Like I saw Jadon do that versus Flash a couple times, like really like three hatch before pool. But that was on maps like Fighting Spirit or like really crazy. But my big thing is though, if you Zerg keep doing the same thing, you're gonna keep losing to it. If you notice I've been playing against Zerg, and I keep doing the Thor drop opening, but I evolved it and I added some shit to it. I'm not going to Rex, because I'm a big believer in Blizzard's either going to fix it, change it, or Zerg are going to learn how to counter I think, I think what you need to do, I think you have good ideas, you just need to sit down and see the actual timings. Like, I don't think you realize how far... But this far is the same thing back in Warcraft 3, history repeats No, 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 no. Well, 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 I played like 3,000 games of this, so I know the timings, uh, I, I feel like no, I know them a little bit. Like listen, 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 if, if, you don't understand, you just don't understand how far behind it puts the Zerg early game to, to oh, make all those lings early on. It's it's just like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Everybody's bitching about Sentinel, but there's ways to get around it. Yes, he's very powerful, but I'm sorry. <sighs> You gotta just do what you gotta do and realize that you gotta either play the game by getting sent. Oh god! If just trust me, dude. Trust. Me. The game is too early for this. Well, I don't know, man. You never know. What if? It, just trust me. The game is too early. Don't ever just put a skill cap on your shit. I'm not putting a skill cap. I'm still looking for ways to do it. But I'm just telling you that. Clack, dude. You make the keyboard. You're the keyboard clacking king, motherfucker, man. You get, you Don't that, fight son of a king, guys! You got that Australian you so you Remember you got that bitch? 500 viewers? You were like, dude, I'm gonna get this broad 500 viewers so we can go see this bitch's titties. And I'm like, Steve, I don't know if you can do it, man. Watch this. And you, within 30 minutes, had that broad with 600 viewers, saw some titties, and then raped some kid on the fucking stream. Don't tell me you can't think Devo. about alright, let's just, let, we're gonna watch these games, okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Awesome. Good guy. Don't make me sad. Don't fight, guys. Why, why? It's just theory. Steve is the second coming of all Zerg Overmind. He shall own Zerg. Yeah, I think so. He'll be number one in the world. You know, Turex against, I prefer, yeah, Speedwing first. I prefer. It's easy to fight against Turex first Speedwing. Okay? Well, I think General is in trouble. <laughs> Why? How is he in trouble? Well, I was across this is a map. There's a lot. If if Idra can just engage his army by the time the push gets to him and just get a, get ahead a lot, he'll be alright. Dude, you can't because, fight Terran though. You just, your shit just dies. Right, he opened up. He opened up three racks. He got three racks right there. It means he's not going Banshee. That means he's not gonna have any kind of drop. He doesn't need to go Banshees. He's fucking Terran. He's got Marines. 
My whole point. Oh my god. Close minded Zerg. Watch. Close minded Zerg. This is why you guys lose and you guys get the reputation of whining. I'm just telling you how it is, bro. God. Delays the lair just a little bit, but you can see the return on that. The drone. What would Ness T say if you heard you right now? He'd be looking at you. He'd be shaking his head like Steve. Does Ness T beat Jinro? Didn't Ness T get knocked the fuck out by uh, MVP or whatever? So he is looking. Or the GSL or MKP or something. Thank you. However, he doesn't have any force on the ground to do to do to do. It would have been funny if they still would have had Fibrax Reaper though. You guys probably would have been better off. Fuck Fibrax Reaper. Got it, nerf. Oh shit! Now they two racks. God damn it! Dude, listen, man, fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. I'm about to play Terran. I'm gonna play Terran and show the whole world how fucked up that race is, okay? What is funny? What is funny? What is funny? I need to buy you beer. Oh! Beer for me or for you? Both of us, man. No. No. You can't do this to me. <laughs> I don't like Ankatrol's hairstyle. Well, no, it looks alright. He's a big burly guy. He should be in a suit with a tie. Getting stem, getting early medevacs. Readers might be good. Damn, didn't watch the wings. Jinro's in a fucking zone right now, dude. <laughs> That's because he plays Karen and his opponent is Zerg. Here come the drops. Idra, you need to go ahead and take your third. Oh Invest in a lot of static defense, my friend. You can't what? Static defense is Zerg? It's been spotted by that middle zone Naga Tower. Uh, a little bit of a, a miscue, I would say, by Jinro. Mm -hmm. Because I'll be honest, if uh, even if they nerf Marine, I, I think you guys would still have the same problem. Hydra probably has that tower. I hope he does. Should have that tower. He does, he does. He's seen it coming. Alright. Go, 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 go. Mm, go ahead you should send the two lanes to kill that fucking marine. It would be no problem, bro. Oh, and they actually all escaped one marine. Looks like both his arms are attached, but it seems like a good venture regardless. Now, meanwhile, back at Jinro's base, just hammering away at that back circle. Still trolling Hydra. Easy I draw. <sighs> Is he getting one more command center, right? What, why? Why do you, you know, make Have you guys ever experimented with counterattacking a Terran? Like as soon as he moves out, then you send in like 12 Zergings that you have yeah. outside of his yeah, base. Yeah, and then you run into his wall in one bunker with four Marines in it. Yeah, it's cool. But what about out of the expansion, though? Yeah, then you run into the wall with one bunker and four marines. A couple of marines. Those guys just he doesn't, wanted to kill like, wall in his expansion like that, does No, he? even if he doesn't, though, if he's got one bunker with four marines and blocks your 12 lane counterattack. Is this stream lagging? <laughs> Might be a little no, bit. Okay. Okay. I really hope he, since he has middle out, he retakes those with Naga Watchtower. Oh no, do you know what he's doing? He's gonna push Idris third by sieging on that fucking cliff. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, oh, this map is so incredibly fucking gay. Every map is gay, Debo. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, you better hope that it's not you guys got- No, Andrew, pay attention! No! He loves to three minutes. Andrew, get your shit on the high ground! Right now? What? Nidus, Andrew, can you imagine every time he moved out, he would fucking Nidus him? Yeah, he would kill it, and Andrew would lose 100-100 every single time. I can't imagine. Why? What about it? Dude. I really actually like this play because he Infestors would be uh, nice. Burled Infestors, Burl Banelings would be nice. Burl Banelings everywhere. Oh, what? You have to have a Raven before you move out, you motherfucker. Edra needs to get on that fucking high ground or Jinra's gonna stomp For people his that dick love, in. You guys miss, like, lurkers and stuff. Burl Banelings, I mean, shit. I, you know what? I started to incorporate thing about using Ghost in my late tech because, you know what? It is very cost efficient like using Ghost. <laughs> Finally, he uses Marines. Please, Edric, get your shit on the high ground. Show me, is he getting it up there? Banelings? Yeah! There we go, here we go. Yes, Baneling needs a 9 rangey. And see, why is this happening? Nidus is fucking main. So after you clean that shit up, boom, boom, sending a bunch of Zerglings. 
Pick yeah. your battles, Jinro. Hey, Mirror must shoot Bane Ring. It's best to. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just chill. Don't do it with the Mutalist. Just have a lot of Zerglings and Baneling hit the main base. Why are you trying to attack that? Show me health bars! See, why is he doing that? Because he's trying to pick shit off. Because if you let the Terran build up too much, the Terran's going to fucking stop him. No. Yes! You don't have, if you don't have fucking Thor, I would overrun his base. You don't need Thor. Oh, you got to play more Zerg, man. You need to play more Zerg. Okay, and then he brings a big fucking ball with no fucking Thor and you fucking fungal growth his shit. You need Thor. Um, if I had to put a, put a gamble on, I'd say Because all those Zerglings bailing could handle that. If he, as soon as he moves up the ramp, he can handle that. Those mean listen need to go hit his fucking main base. Hey, fucking Hydra, what is doing? I don't know. Need to hurry, see. I don't know. He's why gonna lie to me. I'm and sorry. I apologize. I just really good, and I'm talking to him like he's some kind of scrub. I'm sorry. I'm getting excited. He's no, that's really okay. good. Just... No, it's okay. I love you, Debo. Hate doing that. I really wish Indra would harass with these mutas, though. He's got a fuckload of them, and I don't think Chinro is gonna push up that ramp anytime soon. No, because he's not silly. He's probably gonna sit there. I would sit there, siege up, and then just put down a couple bunkers and turn and just. Oh, I got an expansion. <laughs> Up. I like that creep spread. I like that creep spread. It's kind of cool. Oh, man. I feel like Edward like should be on Hive Tech sooner. I don't know. My Hive Tech's always really late, so I shouldn't say anything. Well, if he gets a quick Brewlord, that'd be pretty fucking sexy, I'll tell you what. Ah, uh, yes. See that other drop heading to the south? Finally, harassed, dude. You can fucking take out two of these Raxes right here. No, you can't go uh, out. He's got some Zergling and Bainling. Cool. Oh best my god, he's pushing up here. There's no way this can end well. No, just yeah, so bending first and bending first. <sighs> Don't send him to the floor. That's a little no, Andrew, watch your shit! No, just delay. You delay, you delay. Sack Andrew, pay attention! No! Just keep killing his base. He has oh, look at Jiro pick him up in the medevac! On the in the mutas! Oh, get that shit out of here, see? You don't have a lot of Thors, my middle is shit on your shit, son! GG, son! What did Debo tell you, son? Dude, it had nothing to do with Thors! It had nothing! Dude, Thors are so bad! Are you crazy? I'm fucking swan, nigga! Once you get so many meatless, nigga, you don't have at least three, four throw. It's the stars are nigga. fucking shit, dude. Yeah. How? Oh my Ooh. god. I told you that shit, son. He moved up the ramp with all the fucking Bane were winning. That was suicide. Not greedy. All he had to do was put down turrets and defend. He had three bases up to Idris. Three. Idris was just getting his fourth. Jinro pushed up the ramp. That was. I don't know why Jinro did that. Because Jinro got ballsy because he won the first two games off two racks, but he forgot that on Unlandus' map, and he can't put that kind of pressure, Zerk. You have to play a lot more smart. And also, kept the reinforcements there. No, he was much faster to reinforce his units than Jinro was to. That's the fucking sword, man. That's got a hard off from that shit. Nigga brought all his mutas. It's like, what? What? I just killed all you three Raxes in front of your fucking base. Now my Mutalists come in like Hero Mutalists to save the fucking day. Beast dude. Oh my god. That was so beautiful. Yeah, you're so beautiful. His Mutalists are both. I don't understand what you speak. What did you speak? Oh, yeah. they both. What's up, son? Speak lonely for me, can you? Could you? Sorry, it's the black people, America. We speak loud, fast, man. We crazy. Yeah, I I know, man. I like black people speaking style, but it's too so fast. fast. Yeah, right. Like your APM for StarCraft is too fast. I can't stop your. I can't say, hey, Sela, slow down. No, you say, hey, uh, I'm too slow. I can't slow. I I can only go fast. My APM is so fucking slow. No, my, I my watch you play, you liar. I watch you play Metalopolis, and the Terran was. Uh, you were 12 o'clock, Terran was 9 o'clock, and you took your gold hatchery like a champ, bro, and he was trying to drop you, and you kept defending, bro. And you built, and you, you took your fourth after you took your gold, and then you killed him with Mutalisk at his uh, when he tried to take the t uh, twelve o'clock natural, bro. You got good uh -huh. AP. You stopped the oh. drop. Close air distance, Metalopolis is morning. I watch you play. You liar, man. You fast, man. I remember. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. If you can use your mouse to play StarCraft 2, you are the best.
to play in the world. I don't know, man. You're a gangster. You didn't take your third natural like uh, Mozart did. You were like, I'm Sella. I'm big baller. I'll take gold. And you took the gold and you own it. That's how you play that shit. I mean, first two games, it was really I'm gangster. I think Idra kind of, you know, got.